Hey everybody, I'm Victor Lugo, gameplay designer for EA Sports MMA, and I'm here today to give you an inside look at the submission mechanics for the EA Sports MMA demo. There are two types of submissions in EA Sports MMA, limb submissions and chokes. Today I'm going to give you a beginner's overview of both. While on the ground, you must press the submit button to initiate the submission, which is X on the Xbox 360 or square on the PS3. Once you have successfully initiated a submission, you must then make progress in the submission by continuing to press the submit button. If you are defending, you must press the defend button to progress in escaping the submission. That's B on Xbox 360 and circle on PS3. Now at this point you may feel the urge to just mash away wildly at the buttons, but don't do this. There are two things that you need to be aware of while battling, your progress in the battle and your stamina level. You can see your progress in the battle by observing the bone that appears when the battle is initiated. The redder it is, the closer you are to locking in a submission. Conversely, if you see very little red and the bone begins to fade, then you're going to escape the submission. The second thing you need to observe is your stamina level. The basic idea here is that you must manage your stamina at all times while in the battle. Every button press uses valuable stamina. While not mashing, you will notice that your stamina level will slowly increase. To win this battle, you must outmash your opponent without completely burning out your stamina. If you run out of stamina as the defender, you'll have to wait about 2 seconds before your stamina returns. If you run out of stamina as the attacker, your opponent will escape the submission. The longer the battle lasts, the more progress you will make per button press, so make sure you adjust your mash rate accordingly. You can also chain from one submission to another in EA Sports MMA. Chaining a submission can occur immediately after a defender has escaped the submission. Once the escape happens, you will notice that the transition button briefly appears on the screen. If you are able to press this button before the defender, then you will go into another battle. If the defender presses the chain button first, or you mistime your press, then you will not go into another submission. This is going to be A on Xbox 360 or X on PS3. Now on to choke submissions. Once you have initiated a choke battle, you will notice that a circle appears in the middle of the screen. Occasionally you will see something moving along the circle then disappear. This is the hot spot that you must track down and follow in order to make progress in the battle. To find this hot spot, you must move the left stick around until you see it appear. Whenever your left stick is overlapping with the hot spot, you will see it. You will notice that the hot spot changes color. This color change depends on which fighter is in the hot spot. If the fighter in the red corner is making progress, the hot spot will be red. If the fighter in the blue corner is making progress, then the hot spot will be blue. If both fighters are following the hot spot, it will be purple. If you see the hotspot on the screen and it isn't your color, then you need to move your stick towards it as fast as you can because your opponent is making progress. In this battle, you must also be aware of your stamina. Whenever you move the left stick, you will begin using stamina. The less stamina you have, the harder it will be to find the hotspot. You can recover your stamina by either leaving the left stick neutral or by holding it in one direction. If you run out of stamina as the attacker, your opponent will escape the submission. As the choke goes on, you will notice that the camera will zoom in and out. A successful submission will cause the circle to get smaller and the screen to get darker. Follow it long enough to successfully tap out your opponent. If the circle expands enough, the defender will escape the submission. That's it for this beginner's look at the submissions in EA Sports MMA. Thanks for downloading the demo and be sure to pre-order your copy. In stores October 19th. Until next time, I'm Victor Lugo and I'll see you in the cage. Yeah.